My name is Wade Christensen and I am a senior staff engineer at uh, Seagate Technology and our primary Perforce administrator. With any migration of a core infrastructure, the decision to move uh, obviously is not an easy one. The subversion solution often lacks either the scalability or the flexibility that development communities demand um, these days. I have had some personal experience migrating organizations from subversion to Perforce. Um, the process has always been very straightforward. We've received exceptional support from Perforce's consultants and support teams. Questions are always answered very quickly and you always feel like you've got an entire team of people there who have your back and who are willing to walk you through any difficulties uh, that you're experiencing as an administrator or as a user. Throughout the process, knowing that all of the history, all of the important artifacts out of the subversion repositories were going to be migrated and well-preserved within Helix Core. Um, and while change is difficult for any organization, the migration from subversion to Perforce has always been a positive one uh, for the organizations that I've done it for and one that has truly enabled those development teams uh, to reach their full potential within their uh, software development life cycle. For Seagate, Git was not a viable option because one, the, the size of our repository just does not scale well within the Git model. The other thing that we ran into is that the extensive number of custom configurations that we have to maintain became problematic within the Git model of multiple repositories. We were running into a situation where we were going to have thousands upon thousands of repositories just to maintain the configurations that we are able to accurately track and develop within one version of, of Perforce. Perforce is really the only solution that Seagate's been able to implement that has given us the ability to scale um, to our operational levels and to seamlessly integrate all of our different facilities around the world into one you know, cohesive development model.